Hi, I'm Mike. Last week while filming with the drone, we had a surprise hailstorm pop up while the drone was in the air. It beat the crap out of it. And today, I'm gonna take you through the entire experience. Not only that, but today is the first test flight of the drone since the crash. We're gonna see if this thing still works and if there's any long-term damage. Also, if it doesn't, well, will we ever have another drone shot here on our Wyoming Life? Welcome back. And if you happen to find us just because you like to watch drone crash, drone crashes, uh, give me a second here before you fast forward. We all eat, no matter what you eat. And the purpose behind our channel is to give you an inside look at where your food comes from and take you along as we try our hand at running a Wyoming ranch and raising our family here. We raise beef, we raise pork, but we also raise a ton of vegetables. And I hope that you'd consider subscribing with us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Escaping the ordinary, of course, well, that could pretty much mean anything. And today, it's all about the DJI Phantom 3 drone that we use here on the ranch to get some of those awesome aerial shots that you all love. We use a ton of cameras to bring you all kinds of different views, from GoPros to 360 cameras to stationary DSLRs. But the camera that I worry most about is the one that's mounted to the bottom of the drone. This is actually our second drone that we've had here on the channel. The first one was destroyed when it fell from the sky over a year ago. This one is its replacement, and I really don't know if it flies at all anymore. The current replacement for this drone runs about $1,500. So I'm certainly hoping, hoping that it does, and uh, we'll get to that in just a few minutes. First, I want to take you through what got us here in the first place. About a week ago, I was out filming an episode for haying. That's where we are right now on the ranch, cutting and baling grass for the cows to eat all winter long. Without haying, the cows have nothing to eat. And we've been through drought for the past five years or so, and the hay this year, well, the crop looks pretty good. Harvesting our own hay is way less expensive at this point than buying it and transporting it here. So we're going like crazy to get as much of it put into bales as possible. I was filming a portion of the video with the drone uh, while my friend Dave, who's out here visiting from North Carolina, was helping hang, and he was out raking the hay that we'd cut earlier into what we call windrows. Now these windrows are sucked up by a baler and turned into those nice big round bales that we feed to the cows. The battery life on the drone is only about 15 minutes. That's on a good day, with little wind and decent temperatures, and a ton of other things that the drone has to fight against just to stay in the air. Because the life of the battery is so short, I try to move it around as much as possible, getting shots from different heights and angles as long as I have it in the air. How I fly the drone is pretty simple. Using my phone, I get a signal from the drone's camera showing me what the camera sees. Now, it's small on my phone, but it's essential in getting decent shots. It's like a, a little heads-up display that I can see the speed of the drone and the height, but it all depends on a good signal from the drone itself. I fly the drone using a remote control, levers to control the speed, up, down, left, and right. It's not difficult to fly. Because of the software that's built into it, well, that does most of the work. But I started to become a little bit alarmed when at one point I realized I didn't have much control of the drone. It was flying away from me. And thinking that I was actually just losing connection or communication with the drone itself, I moved to get closer. But then I caught a glimpse of this. Now, we knew that we had a small storm on the way. Although it was forecast to go around us, it looked like it was actually gonna do just that, but it changed its mind, as you can see. This line of rain is actually moving up to us quick. With that, it became urgent to get the drone on the ground. I regained control and started to land it, but when the first raindrops hit, I lost all control again. Now, I'm watching all this on my little tiny screen. I have no control. Sometimes the display would disappear for a few seconds. And I really, I actually quickly became disoriented in the view, not knowing which way the drone was heading. By the time it flew over the creek and the small pond to the west of the field that we were originally in, it was a quarter of a mile away or a third of a kilometer. That's when the first hail hit the drone, knocking it around and completely losing its signal back to me. I was flying blind. I couldn't see the drone through the rain and the hail, and all I could do was hope for the best. I was protected in the gator, 
as long as the windows didn't break. But the drone was on its own, and I knew it could possibly be lost forever. After the storm settled down, everybody went out to find the drone. Now, I had a good idea which direction it was heading in, and luckily, even though it flew over a mile away, it crashed on our property. After recovering the video card, we can see the rest of the drone's adventure and the beating it took over just a few minutes. When I woke up this morning, found everything in place. The birds were singing pretty songs, the sun kissed me on my face. It feels so good to be alive, it feels so good to see the light. Now's the time to start I got a big idea in my head I got a dream down in my heart I'm praying that you'll help me now I'm praying that you'll show me how Saying be all you can be You gotta keep the truth in your heart Believe when you can't see You don't see the sign Give it time Reach the top without the climb After getting the drone home and cleaning it up, there doesn't really appear to be that much external damage. A small portion of the case is broken, but the big question is if all the water that got inside caused any major problems. It's been drying in the shop for a few days, so this is the real test of the DJI Phantom 3 and how much damage it can take and keep on flying. Let's see if it even turns on to start with. All right, so before we know that this thing actually works, we need to put a battery into it. Luckily, I've been charging one for a while. These are the batteries that the Phantom takes. And it just plugs right into the back. We can turn it on now and see if it even turns on. Oh, it's alive. Next up is to, we're gonna take it outside and see if she flies. All right, so we have to connect the phone to the drone, to the controller, once that's all done. Then we open up the app. We actually have a picture. So the camera's working. We're just gonna start recording. Now for the moment of truth. No point in 
has been updated. Take off. Man, I can't believe this thing still works. So there's the proof, it's in the pudding. The DJI Phantom 3 can survive a hailstorm, get filled with water, let it dry out. The dang thing still works and saves us about $1,500 at a time when we need to save all the money we can. I am extremely happy that this thing still works. I'm extremely happy that you made it to the end of this video. Please subscribe, make sure that you like the video, follow us on Facebook or wherever else you can find us. And thanks for being a part of our Wyoming life.